Hi, I'm Laura Barrero, the Nighttime Producer here at ABC7, and for this week's Producers Picks, I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about Judge Brett Kavanaugh and the hearings. Um, a lot has happened, so stay with me. I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet, but basically, this all started back in June, when Justice Anthony Kennedy stepped down and announced his retirement from the Supreme Court. About a month later, President Trump announced Judge Brett Kavanaugh to replace Kennedy, and then, Ken then Kavanaugh went through two days of grilling by members of the Senate Judiciary Committee, which is a group of 21 senators who oversee the Department of Justice. Two weeks ago today, the New Yorker published an article about a woman accusing Kavanaugh of attempting to rape her back in the 80s when they were in high school. That woman has since come forward as Dr. Christine Blasey Ford. She testified in front of the Senate Judiciary Committee for nearly four hours yesterday, followed by Kavanaugh's testimony, which took just about as long. And in the 48 hours before those testimonies, at least two other women have come out publicly with new allegations against Kavanaugh too, who, by the way, has denied all these allegations and claims he doesn't even know any of these women. So now, this is a big deal because the Supreme Court resumes on Monday, October 1st. So Kavanaugh supporters want to get him sworn in before then to secure his seat and subsequently a conservative swing on the Supreme Court. Basically, this is Kavanaugh, this is Judge Kavanaugh is the GOP's last hope to get a majority conservative swing on the Supreme Court. And they're afraid that if they lose him, then they're gonna have to wait until after November to vote somebody else in. And after November, they're expecting a blue wave um, after the November votes, so this is, doesn't really look good for the GOP if they don't swear him in. Um, so the GOP is accusing the Democrats of trying to delay Kav Kavanaugh's hearings because of this, but the Democrats are accusing the GOP of moving in haste despite all these allegations that are coming forward. Um, but today, all 11 Republican members of the Judiciary Committee did vote in favor of Kavanaugh, moving forward to this 51-member vote of the full Senate. But in a surprise turn of events, Senator Jeff Flake from Arizona said that he wouldn't be comfortable moving forward with a full vote on Kavanaugh unless an, F an FBI investigation was to take place. So today, President Trump announced that there will be an investigation by the FBI, but it shouldn't take more than a week and they should vote on this in about a week or so. Um, now it is important to note that the investigation will only be on the allegations that have been made so far. So if more women come forward after today, that will not be investigated by the FBI. That's all we know so far. That's all. Those are the latest developments. Of course, we'll keep you updated on our, all of our social media platforms and on our website. And of course, on air, you can watch live tonight at 11 and see the latest developments. Or you can follow us on all of our social media um, and visit mysuncoast.com. Thanks again for watching. Have a good weekend.